Hey guys, just a moment of respect too for uh, for this guy, Desert BMW on YouTube. Um, he created an hour and a half video that basically showed how to install the N55 into the E36. Um, I found that the N54 is a little bit more challenging and requires some more customization. However, it was a motivating video, it was straightforward, and it did not lack any detail at all. Um, he was uh, pretty straightforward on what was required uh, for the swap at least for his swap and his experience. And as you do your own swap, you'll find that you uh, end up finding and having lessons learned for yourself that are not documented uh, from other people. And that's okay. But I did learn a lot from Desert BMW's video. And, <clears throat> and I'm hoping that this uh, video series for the N54 sheds a little bit more light as to uh, what it really takes in order to install um, this very popular engine, this engine that has potential for so much horsepower uh, with minimal effort and minimal um, uh, upgrades uh, into a car, uh, a classic car that looks cool and um, could be a really good sleeper. So uh, credit for that. Thank you very much uh, for everything that you've uh, uh, contributed to the forums and contributed to YouTube and uh, just the community in general. Um, so uh, thanks a lot. Good night, everyone! I'm Frank Macaluso, and thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to be building the manual brake and pedal clutch assembly for the E36 M3. We have an N54 going into it, and it originally was automatic, so we're going to be putting a manual pedal assembly in for the manual transmission. It's going to be a six-speed, and we are going to be integrating the brake and the clutch switches. The clutch switch is particularly important because the clutch switch is responsible for not only turning on the car axis system, which allows the engine to turn on, but also may or may not be used later on for cruise control. Here's our pedal assembly. This is super simple, and, and by the way, this has been done a thousand times and documented elsewhere, but I figured if you like my style of video and the way that I instruct and educate, well then maybe this might come in handy and I might tell you something that you didn't previously already know. So this guy obviously goes right up against the firewall and the two pedals hang off over here and here. And uh, this is the parts list. All you need is a 10 millimeter and a regular straight head screwdriver. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, let's do the brake pedal first. Okay, that is done. Good job. No, but seriously, you have this other piece here. Okay, this is basically the clip that ends up going through, as well as your uh, brake booster push rod ends up clipping to that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put this guy on the end here. Okay. And the spring ultimately would end up hooking onto here and going into here. I'm going to keep it there just for just in case for now, but ultimately it's going to end up sitting just like that. Now for the clutch pedal. We ended up having a slightly custom system here. Um, because we are using um, a pedal from a newer M3 that has wider anchor points. So we needed longer M6 by 70 millimeter. So let's do that. Let's keep it right here. Okay. Pedal slips on. Okay. Master cylinder. And so just like that. Alright, that's good. Cylinder. That. All right, it. That's how the clip installed. This is your spring. Kind of 
sits in here, but it also is really just more like a pocket, like that, okay? What we're gonna do is we're going to install it like that. Okay. Put it in place. Put this guy right there. Now, this is where you gotta have strong hands, strong arms, or whatever you wanna call it. But it's important that everything sits. There we go. Snapped in. Now, this guy goes on. Let's put the other one on as well because it's important to get both of them to sit. Turn this over. There is, in the casting of the aluminum bracket, there is spot for an M6 nut. So you can just sit that in there. It is a lock nut. Keep it a little loose. And this guy as well. Now this bolt is a little bit smaller. I'm actually going to get a larger one. I've actually decided to get a longer nut, a longer bolt. That slides right in. Okay. This is the bracket that holds the brake and the clutch pedal sensors. And I'm going to just basically kind of ballpark where I think that this, and this little notch here, a little bit of a notch. That notch goes right into the notch of the casting. Screw that down. Screw that down. Let's readjust the brake pedal here. This guy is loose, and it's going to remain loose because we don't have the piston for the master cylinder yet. But essentially, this guy ends up pushing just like that. And the same thing for the clutch. And again, for the clutch, because it's spring-loaded, you got to be a little strong on it, right? The same deal. You can see how it pushes on that pedal, right? It pushes right on that switch there. Just leave this like this. Leave this like this. Connecting the spring. And here we are. Our pedal assembly is complete. It mounts with four nuts, M8 nuts, and one M8 bolt for the top. Quick and easy, guys. Clutch pedal assembly complete. If you like the video, you like what you see, uh, please comment, like, tag your friends. I want your opinions, I want your comments, I want to be better, I want to do better, and I want to be more descriptive. Um, I want to get an audience that really cares about their car, cares about um, modifying their car themselves and gets the personal satisfaction out of a, a good, solid DIY uh, experience. So, my name is Frank Macluso, thanks for tuning in, until next time.